people, 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 people. K pasa sa pa say what they do. Now people, the first part of the video is about an update about a video that I did today when I spoke about a two foot post, a two foot hyena that was on a bike that tried to rob somebody in Avondale, Roehampton, close Kansan Spring, somewhere in that vicinity to be specific. Now people, when I did that video, I said that he was taken out by a um, licensed fire piece holder. However, people, during the information that I got, it is said that an off-duty popo was passing and saw exactly what was going on. And based on the information, it is said that a lady, a woman, she was coming from the bank and she picked up a whole lot of money. We are speaking about $700,000. We are talking about Jamaican dollars. So people, we are speaking about in excess of $6,000 US dollars in Jamaican currency. So people, obviously, it seems as if these two persons on the bike trailer. However, when they tried to rob her, the person that grabbed the bag, he was conned by the off-duty popo officer. However, the next one get away. However, it is said that the money basically fell from his hand. And people like you saw in the video that I let you listen to, you could hear him screaming and bawling for help. And I talk about woi, 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 rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now people, like I have said on many videos that I have done and I give a lot of warning, I make it abundantly clear that listen, if you know say your family is a thief, if you know say your son is a thief, if you know say your man is a thief, if you know say your woman is a thief, it is time to tell them and warn them about a career change because people, this career, it is not working out too well because we see of lately that the popo has been having a whole lot of success. We see a license fire peace holder. We see a all sort of citizen, a catch thief and a beat them. We see a popo, we see a seatak. Everybody is taking out these comebacks of people. Me just say. Now people, when we list the videos like this, we have to basically rejoice. It's his reason for our celebration because people, the truth and the facts that they've been doing this for a long time. I am speaking about these bike thief, these bike hyena and people, them finally I get catch. The time, the law is really catching up on them right now, point blank and period. And people, what is even more joyous to see is when he was begging for his life and his last breath left his body. And then when the Pope of them pick him up, People, them all on pan him like a dead dog and just fling him in the truck and drag him like agua talk about meat. People, it was a joy to see and people, the truth and the fact is that a lot of persons are going to say, wait, it kind of looks away because it is still a human being. However, people, when something plague you all of your life, you basically need to get rid of it. Point blank and period. And that is what we see going on in a Jamaica. Now people, when we list the stories like this on a consistent basis and we see a lot of times the persons, the victims are persons coming from the bank. We have to ask the question, oh, well, it is quite obvious that somebody in the bank, we are speaking about one of the tellers, we are speaking about one of the employees, seems to be giving information to these people or else them have some sort of spot lion because people the truth and the facts that if somebody is going to be in a bank they are going to kind of look suspicious so people the point that i am trying to make is that more than likely the possibilities are that it is some sort of inside information that is being given however people i would not be surprised because like me say them teeth are them kind of slick them full of sykes so therefore they can have some sort of spot lying in at the bank and basically watching everybody but people like me say me no know so anyways people let me know what you think do you think that this is done are most of these robberies that are done by these bike men and these yang yang are basically from some inside information bank employee rate Lele, blue, blah, blend. Or do you think that it is just some sort of spot lion, some random check, some random basically praying from people? People, let me know what you're thinking in the comment section. So, anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.
Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We are speaking about true Jamaica buzz, and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, the next part of the video is called If Them Can't Catch Quaker, Them I Go Catch Him Shut and anything else we're around him we are speaking about the whole laundry we are talking about the whole closet now people i am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called south Barrow. we are speaking about portmore we are speaking about st catching to be specific and based on the information from the popo it is said that four armed men attacked some purses while they were playing domino at about nine something we are talking about in the evening we are talking about in the night now, based on the information, it is said that after the SMOKE cleared, two persons lost their life and five others, including a reggae boy player, and I am speaking about a person whose name is Malik Foster. And people, based on the information, it is said that the intended target was somebody whose name is Jason Thomas. Now, based on the information from the residents and the popo, it is said that Mr. Thomas, he was attacked. He was basically conned up maybe about three or four months ago. So people, like them say, they came for him before and they were not successful. However, them come back and them take him out this time. Because out of the two persons that got slapped away, he was one of them. And also, based on the information from the popo, it is said that of the five persons that were taken to the place of recovery, three of them were treated and released. However, two other persons, we are speaking about a reggae boy and also a next person, they are still in the place of recovery. So people, I don't know what type of condition he is in. However, we should pray that he recovers, point blank and period. Now people, when we think about a situation like this, and people have said it on many occasions, this is not the time when you live in certain areas. We are speaking about any sort of garrison. We are speaking about any sort of place that is not uptown or any sort of place that is not any type of gated community. For you to sit down and roll dice and also playing domino because people, the truth and the fact is that you can draw a double blank and you can be a scholar. Roll the dice and be a scholar. Lose your life. So people, me just I say, you have to be vigilant when you are living in the jungle. You can't live in the jungle and act like you live uptown because people, we see that the rules and the regulations, the protocols, they are different. And we see if you are around somebody that is hot, we are speaking about in the case of Mr. Thomas, based on the information from the popo and the residents, this is the second time that they came for him. However, in this case, it kind of end up in the worst case scenario point blank and period so me just I say i don't know what is the association or affiliation with the reggae boy i may talk about malik foster and this man however based on the residents based on the account of the popo it is that he was one of the many victims we are speaking about of the five that basically get conned up and were taken to the place of recovery so people when we look at the odds they went for one target and people them hit we are talking about six other people including taking one out so people with sister these people don't care they are an equal opportunity to slap away any and everybody can get it anytime anywhere anyhow point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me said it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up